This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. The majority of Americans in 2017 did not identify themselves as Protestants, according to a Gallup survey conducted during the year. And the differing religious denominations tended to be concentrated in certain geographical areas. About half of Americans, or 48%, identify as Protestants or other Christians who are not Catholic or Mormon, said Gallup in its analysis of its polling. The numbers from the Gallup survey align with numbers derived from a Pew Research Center survey published in 2015. That survey indicated that from 2007 to 2014, Protestants had dropped from 51.3% of the population to 46.5%. At the same time, according to that Pew survey, Catholics dropped from 23.9% of the population to 20.8%. In Alabama, according to the newly released Gallup data for 2017, 77% said they were Protestant, making Alabama the most Protestant state in the country. In Rhode Island, 44% said they were Catholic, making Rhode Island the most Catholic state in the country. It happens, interestingly, that Rhode Island was founded by a Baptist, Roger Williams. In Hawaii and Alaska, 33% said they had no religion, making them the most non-religious states. In New York, 8% said they were Jewish, making New York the most Jewish state. In Utah, 55% said they were Mormons, making Utah the most Mormon state. Gallup derived these numbers from surveys it conducted throughout 2017 in which it interviewed 130,000 respondents in all 50 states and the District of Columbia. Without a Protestant majority, America is losing its foundation in its Protestant ideals and morals. As the religious identity of the nation scatters in various directions, it takes its toll on political and social issues as well. What is right and what is wrong becomes more nebulous and or personalized, for instance. Objective moral standards have become the subject of debate. Where is this taking the nation? When most Americans have no idea of their Protestant heritage and what Protestantism is, they become vulnerable to the ecumenical advances of the papacy. And as Protestantism declines, Protestant leaders, now known as evangelicals, are clamoring for more political power, leading to the unity of church and state. And this is the religion which Protestants are beginning to look upon with so much favor, and which will eventually be united with Protestantism. This union will not, however, be affected by a change in Catholicism, for Rome never changes. She claims infallibility. It is Protestantism that will change. The adoption of liberal ideas on its part will bring it where it can clasp the hand of Catholicism. The Bible and the Bible only is the foundation of our faith, was the cry of Protestants in Luther's time, while the Catholics cried, the Father's custom and tradition. Now many Protestants find it difficult to prove their doctrines from the Bible, and yet they have not the moral courage to accept the truth which involves a cross. Therefore, they are fast coming to the ground of Catholics, and using the best arguments they have to evade the truth, cite the testimony of the fathers and the customs and precepts of men. Review and Herald, June 1, 1886. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching. Thank you.